Okay, hello guys. So in this video, I want to talk about relations and I want to explain what does it mean that X belongs to Y via R. Where R you can think about as being some sort of rule. So to understand relations, let's actually discuss how we're going to construct them. So if we want to understand some math, uh, mathematical like object, the best way is just to show like how you can construct that object. So in order like, to, construct, to construct relations, what do we need to have? We need to have two sets. So let's take some sets A and B. And we're going to consider elements X and Y that are going to belong to those two sets. And then we're going to say that X belongs to Y via R. It's the same as I'm going to take the ordered pair of X and Y. And that ordered pair of X and Y is going to belong to R. But, but R is going to be a subset of A cross B. So in other words, you can think about the relation as subset of a Cartesian product of A cross B, where we say that X belongs to a Y via R if the ordered pair of X and Y belongs to our subset. Let me give you a couple of like examples. So first example, let's take A is equal to B is equal to R. We can see that A cross B in this case is going to be R squared, or in other words, is going to be just a Cartesian XY plane. So let's consider the relation as a subset of A cross B, or in other words, the relation is going to be a subset of R squared. And I'm going to take my relation to be the ordered pairs X, Y that belongs to R squared, such that X squared plus Y squared is equal to one. So the next natural thing is to ask, what does it mean that we have some element X and some element Y, and they belong to each other via R? So first observe that R in this case is going to be a unit circle. And let's draw this unit circle in our Cartesian plane. So relation in this case is going to be subset of R squared. To understand the relation, we need to answer, like if I'm going to take any two elements, does this element elements belong to each other via R? And in case one and zero, yes, because one zero belongs to R. As if you're going to take one squared plus zero squared, I'm going to obtain one. And that obviously belongs to a unit circle. But if I'm going to take, for example, elements like negative one, R and one, then in that case, those elements are not going to be related to each other. Because from one perspective, I'm going to just sketch them, then they're going to be outside of my subset. But from other side, if I'm going to use algebra, negative one squared plus one squared is equal to two, which doesn't equal to one. So we say that x, the ordered pair of x and y relates via R if that ordered pair belongs to a unit circle. So you can see right now, like based on the previous example, what is like the meaning and what is the actual relation, how we can construct it using the Cartesian product. Let, next, let's discuss like one really cool fact that if I'm going to consider graph of any function, then the graph of that function is going to be a relation. But not every relation is going to be given as a graph of some function. And let's actually kind of discuss and show like why uh, the following statement holds. So first let's consider the first part. Let's show that every graph of a function is a relation. So for that remember, uh, let's take a function, for example, a real valid function from R to R. Then graph of that function is going to be the ordered pair of X and Y uh, that belongs to R squared such that Y is equal to F of X. Or in other words, every time our function is going to map from R to R, then we always can sketch the graph uh, that belongs to a Cartesian plane, where every point of the graph is going to be exactly the ordered pair of A and F of A. So again, uh, graph of F is going to be a subset of R2, so that's why we can construct the relation. And we're going to say that X belongs to Y via uh, no, graph of f, if only if x and y belongs to that uh, graph. But in other words, by definition of the graph, it means that y is equal to f of x. So that's why graph of every function is going to be relation. But not every relation is going to be a graph of some function. So let's take actually previous example when I chose uh, my relation to be a unit circle. Then you can see that this is going to be a relation which is given by a unit circle in xy plane, but is not going to be given by a graph of any function. And for example, like why that uh, true? Because if you're going to choose point x is equal to zero, then it doesn't matter like like if you're going to take it as a function of y in terms of x or x in terms of y, you're always going to have two outputs. So in other words, we found the relation, which is uh, is not going to, going to be a graph of any function. Okay, so we are done for today. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and see you soon.